The weeds are wiggling up from the ground, and just as those white seeds poof up like a proud peacock, along comes a big gust of wind to send them out into the world. Today, we're talking about dandelions in this teach and play episode of Little Big Thumbs. <laughs> The small box line of games from BoardGameTables.com has been one of my most pleasant gaming surprises of 2022. Mountain Goats, Ghosts of Christmas, and Sequoia have truly been delightful discoveries in recent months, and now that line of games is expanding with Dandelions. This game is designed by Takashi Sakue, with artwork from Daniel Profiri and Anka Gavril. It plays with two or three players and lasts approximately 15 minutes. Now, Dandelions is recommended for ages 8 and up. And uh, later in this video, we'll be playing through the game with my 7-year-old daughter and myself. But before we get to that, why don't we learn how to play this game? <music> Setting up Dandelions is easy peasy. The five gardens are placed in something of a circular pattern, with the numbers at the bottom of each garden sorted in ascending order. We like to determine the first player by rolling off, and whoever gets the highest roll will place their dandelion pawn in the leftmost space of garden number one, which is marked with this uh, re-roll icon. In clockwise order, the other pawns are placed to the right of the start player. And that's it! With that done, we are all set up to play Dandelions. Now the goal of this game is to score the most points. And we're going to do that by strategically planting our dice in these five gardens. Dice planted in any garden will score points, but whichever player has the most dice in each of those gardens will score some bonus points along the way. To start the game, each player will roll their full stash of 11 dice and then set them aside. The first player chooses one of their dice and places it in the middle of the five garden tiles. Their dandelion pawn is moved clockwise a number of spaces equal to the value of that die. That die is then planted on the garden tile where the pawn finishes its movement. There are a couple of special circumstances that may come up on your turn. If your pawn's final movement would land it on top of another dandelion pawn, it will continue floating along the same number of spaces, meaning that if I use a 3 and land on another player's pawn, my pawn will then move another 3 spaces. If your planted die has a value matching another player's die already in that garden, it creates a gust of wind, and all dice matching that value are moved one garden to the left, or right. And if your pawn lands on the leftmost space of garden number one, it creates a dandelion poof, and you will re-roll all of your remaining dice not yet planted in a garden. One at a time, each player will move their dandelion pawn and plant one of their dice until everyone has planted all 11. At this point, we're going to score some points. First up, we score the sprouts, and this is the easy one because each die will score a number of points equal to the garden number it's planted in. So each die in garden number one is worth one point, all dice in garden number two are worth two points, and all the way up to garden number eight, where each die is worth eight points. Whew. And the second round of scoring is called seed scoring, and in this one, we're going to be looking at who has the most dice on each garden, and that player will score uh, the total of all of the values on their own dice. So if on this garden I have a 5, a 6, and a 1, my seed score for that garden is 12 points, so long as I have the most number of dice planted there. Now, if there is a tie for the most number of dice in a garden, we're going to look at who has the lowest uh, pip total, the lowest value of dice on their dice, and that player will break the tie and get the seed score for that garden. So looking back at our example, it turns out that my opponent also had three dice there, and their total was eight. So in fact, I don't get those 12 points I claimed earlier. I get zero points, and my opponent will receive eight. On the rare occasion that players tie for both uh, the number of dice in a garden and the, the sum on those dice, then all tied players will receive points for the seed scoring. 
and we'll now total up both our sprout and seed scores, and whoever has the highest total score will win the game. So with that, hopefully you have a, a pretty good idea of how to play dandelions. But if you'd like to see the game in action, stick around. My seven-year-old daughter and I are about to start rolling some dice and planting some seeds. Okay, time to play. All right. Are you ready to play this game? Yes. All right. So, and I get to do the markings this time. Okay? okay, you can do the math at the end. All right. Okay, so I'm being orange and he's being yellow, I suppose? I'm going to be yellow. Can I be green? Yes, you can Is be that green. okay? All right, so I thought he was being green. I do. Yellow. I love yellow. Yeah, yellow is one of my favorite colors. But like you said earlier, um, sometimes it's good to just take a break from your favorite color and choose a different color. Words to live by. Zip, 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 zip. I'm trying to get my. <laughs> All right, so here's the beginning here. And so there's that spot there. So let's roll to see who's going to go first. I'm going to roll one die. You roll one die. I got a one. I got a six. Okay, so you're going to go first. So your piece goes, yeah, there, and mine goes there, and then... Wait, why does mine go behind yours? You're ahead of me. Uh, well, you're going first, so you're in the first player spot. All right. Okay. So can you roll your dice and make sure they <laughs> do your best to keep them on the table when you roll? Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> save it, save it, save it! Let me roll that one. All right. All right. Okay, so let me put count all the... Let's numbers. bundle them together yes, without numbers. changing the numbers. So just set them over there. All right, so now you're going to choose one of your numbers and put them right in the middle of the four. Six. Great. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, then put your die on that, Beep. on that little forest, on that uh, garden there. It's a garden. Not Is it a garden? A okay. That's a rainforest. That's a garden. All right, so I'm going to play a four. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I will play six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. I'm going to put your die there. Beep, beep, doop. And let's see. Let's see. I think I'm going to play a three. One, two, three. And go right there. Let's see. These are quick turns. Bad. Okay. Yeah. One. Two, three, four, five. All right. And, oops, five. All right, I'm going to put a three down, and I'm going to go one, two, that three. Helps. That helps. I pick five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. So when you get the number on your dice, you move that number, and then... When you get to your spot, on that card, you put that card, or otherwise known as a garden, you can put, you put your dice there, and then you, and then you just let the other person have their turn. That's right. All right, I'm going to take a turn. I'm going to play it two. Go one, two. Oh, your turn. I'm going to play another five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Hey. You gonna move your die? Yes. Die. All right. I'm gonna play, let's see, I'm gonna play a, a two. Uh, yeah, I'm green. I'm gonna play a two, so I go one, two. Now this is a special spot right here. So, because my piece is landing right there, that little symbol there, that means I get to roll all the rest of my dice. Oh, got a bunch of new numbers now. So now it's your turn. All right. Oh, that's a really good one because it's going to get you on an eight. Oh. Move the two there. Good job. And now I'm going to play, well, play a six. If anyone's watched Racket Ralph Breaks the Internet, you are like my bestie. Like, <laughs> I, I love that movie. All right. What, uh, so I, so I got, do you remember what happens when we have two matching numbers that land together uh, that are different colors. Do you remember what happens? Yep. What happens? They stick together and float to another one. That's right, but it's, but it's my turn, so I get to choose where they float. Yes. But I am going to float them over here. 
I'm going to quote them over here. What? So take your turn. And while you take your turn, I'm curious to know, what is your favorite song from Ralph Breaks the Internet? Oh. A place called Slaughter Race. Nice. So you put your number down there. And then, because you landed on the special spot, you get to roll the rest. Oh, Frankie Brown the... Cousin Dolores can hear a pin drop. Mm -hmm. Isabel and Lisa. <laughs> uh, I am, let's see, I want to go, I'm going to play a three. So I'll go one, two, three. So we've got two threes here, but they're not different colors, so the dice don't move. And now it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to play this place called Slaughter Race. Nice. And then your die goes down there. Uh, I'm going to play a, um, a four. A green? One, two, three, four. Are you going to play a green? I always play a green, yes. Now it's your turn. What do you like so much about playing green? I don't know. It's appropriate for, for being plants and flowers and weeds. But uh, orange... You know, it was appropriate because orange is the color of plants. That's right. Pollen. Okay. okay. <laughs> Choose another. Dazzle. It's the color of pollen. Yeah. Okay. Kind of. All right. I guess so. Well, it's and close to yellow, which is the color of pollen. Yeah. So, yeah, there, buddy. <laughs> Take your turn. Take your turn. <laughs> Two. This place called Slaughter Race. Okay, so I... <laughs> you only have two dice left. Bip. 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 Uh, oh, there, buddy. Why are you, why are you doing that? Please stop. <laughs> Because it's funny. All right, your turn. Right. And put your one down. Okay. Nice. I win. Do you win? Are you sure? Yes. Boop. Boop. All these ones get to move. Where are they going to go? I'm going to move them over to... Hmm. Hey, over you're there. being mean. Why am I being mean? Because you're being mean. All right, so we, it's why you're we, being mean. We played all our dice. So I write the things down. All right, all right. So you got to keep it here so people can see it. You got to keep it right there. Sprout. So let's right. see what I can write here. Uh, no, sorry. This should be this way. There we go. Um, so here we are. Let's start with the ones. So you are. You're orange, are you? Yes. So you've got two dice there. So two times one. Equals. So Two? This, yeah, that's right. That's right. And you're not yellow, though, are you? Oh, noops. Oh, you just drew in my hand. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so you're orange. There you go. And I have one there. So one one is just one. So you're green? Yep. And then over here, you've got two dice, and each die is worth two. So two plus two. Equals four. Yep. Nice. And I've got three dice there. So three twos, two plus two plus two equals six. Yep. Nice. Over here, we've got threes now. We've got a lot of dice here. Uh, so three dice for you. So three threes, three plus three plus three equals nine. Yep. And then I have four threes. So, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12. You cheater, cheater, mean old me. Why am I a cheater? <laughs> so now you do fives. So, you can do, you can do, like, number jumping here. 10. Yep. And I've got the exact same. 10. And then the last one, you've got two eights. So, 8 plus 8. I don't know. Yes, you do. I really don't. Start at eight and count up eight more numbers. 
16. Yep. And I've, and I've only got one die there, so that's just eight. Meow, meow. So now let's count up our totals. Just tell me now and I'll write it down. Okay. You got it. Okay. You got it. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And this one, uh, this is 18, 20, 30, 37. I knew it. I'm a mathematician. You are. All right. Write down 37. 30. Save me. Great. Over here, I'm going to draw a little heart. Oh. All right. So let's go over here. So over here, you've got the most number of dice. So you're going to get 5 plus 1. So I get 6. Yep. Why is my finger using? Why is my finger being the writing tool? Over here, I've got the most dice. So can you write down 10 right there? Yes. And the number three one, I've got the most dice again. So I've got 12, 13. No pants. <laughs> uh, over here, we're tied. We've got tied for the most number of dice. So then we look to who's got the least number of dots on their dice. I've got the most. You've got the most. So that means I break the tie. So I get six points there. What? And you get zero. And over Come here... On. You've got the most dice here, so mommy, you get the six points mommy, on that one. Mommy, so that gives you 12 points. And, there. and, you and I get 5,000 million. No. 22 plus 6 is 28. This is going to be a close game, I think. No, it's not. So you you've got 41 plus, uh, plus 12, so that's 53. And then this one... Uh, 50, 65. We're almost done. We're almost done. So we've got our final scores here. Okay. So you wound up with uh, 53. I wound up with 65. How? Well, I did better in this in the seed scoring part. And you did better in the sprout scoring Isn't part. Isn't there a total scoring part? That is the total. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Subscribe and like for me, Ariel. Thank you so much for playing this game and sharing our playthrough experience with our friends on our YouTube channel. You're welcome. My name's Ariel now, you know. And remember, whether you've got big players or little players, make sure that you're playing games that make your thumbs go way up. Bye for now. Bye. Boom, 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 boom. Just a big shout out to Lily Louise Vickery on her channel. Her channel's called Lily Vickery or something, and I really love her. Um, not the violin playing one. The one that has the minor song video and the and the ten ways to send summer break and the ten ways to get a cut video and the other one which is um her which is her doing Highland Dance and she's really good at it. Um she is actually like my wife, my bestie, and that's why I wanna give a shout out to her. So, yep, yeah, that's why I want to give a shout out to her.